The Mare Nigrum is unique. It is the largest multidisciplinary marine research vessel currently in the fleet of the Romanian National Institute of Geology and Marine Geoecology, Geoecomar. It has a displacement of more than 3,000 tons and on a normal mission is manned by a crew of more than 50, of whom half are oceanographic researchers. The life of this vessel has not been an ordinary one. In the 1970s and 80s, Romanian oceanic fishing flourished, but not oceanographic research. Since 1990, not one of the fleet of 50 fishing vessels has remained. However, what is now the Mare Nigrum had an own hoped-for destiny. Transferred to Geo Ecomar, in just a few years with little money but much enthusiasm, it has become a true marine research vessel. The last large civil vessel owned by the Romanian state, since 2002 the former fishing ship Somesh has become the Mare Nigrum, the Roman name for the ancient Pontus Euxinus. The Black Sea was once a welcoming host for aquatic fauna. Luxuriant subaquatic flora attached to the rocky relief of coastal areas allowed a rich fauna to flourish. As is well known, below a depth of 170 to 200 meters, the Black Sea is wholly anoxic, deadly to underwater life. And so the richness of the fauna here was all the more remarkable. Sturgeons were so large and plentiful that in medieval Byzantium caviar was a poor man's dish. Immense shoals of anchovies, gobies, mackerel and grey mullet roamed the vast underwater Zostada prairies. There were numerous sharks and dolphins and in the caves hollowed into rocky cliffs lived black sea seals. But in the 1980s, the Black Sea underwent a rapid decline, one of the most dramatic recorded in marine biology. The causes were pollution by agricultural fertilizers used in the basin of the main tributaries, especially the Danube, overfishing and the penetration of invasive species. First Rapana and then Ctenophore nemiopsis a rapacious devourer of plankton, as well as fish roe and even larvae. These delicate translucent jellyfish have reached a total mass of 700 million tonnes with a catastrophic impact. Within a short time the Black Sea lost 75% of its fish species. Many once flourishing places are now a semi-desert of dead mussels biologically sterile. Since 1990 there has also been a decline in research but now the governments of the Black Sea nations understand the importance of a scientific approach and measures for e ecological recovery. I am able to say that we cover the problems of the region rather well and we have thereby managed to link up with the European scientific community. Various institutions in the West have arrived with offers to take part in European projects. At the moment, only a few research vessels are still operating in the Black Sea, belonging to Bulgaria, Ukraine and Turkey. Among them, the Mare Nigrum is at the forefront, in terms of both its size and its modern research equipment. The ship can operate anywhere in the Black Sea, and not only. From depths of a minimum of 10 metres up to 2,000 metres, the largest depth recorded in the basin. For shallow water research near the coast, we have the Istros, also owned by the Geo Ecomar Institute. For research into sediments, the Mare Nigrum is equipped with gravitational drill cores and a piston. When launched at great depths, sediment samples of between 4 and 5 metres in length can be collected, allowing geo Ecomar specialists to decipher the history of the Black Sea going back many thousands of years. On board the ship, the core samples are studied even before being opened, by means of a dual-energy tomographic computer. 
Built by Romanian researchers from the physics faculty of Bucharest University, together with experts from the Accent Pro company and from Geo Ecomar, the equipment is intended for research ships, in particular for investigation of geological samples. Like a medical x-ray, it offers clear details of the internal structure and composition of sediments, thereby much facilitating research of activity. For seabed sediment samples, the search is equipped with a multi-corer, an instrument which can simultaneously collect four samples perfectly preserved in plastic tubes. Using the multi-corer requires special care on the part of the mariners who launch and retrieve the equipment, sometimes in very difficult conditions, 